Here I am at the uh, Bath Classic Car Show 2019, showing my Raffo Belga and looking around at some uh, other interesting exhibits. This is a Triton. Tell me about it. This please. is a Triton. It's a 653 unit Bonneville engine. Yeah. With a wide line Norton frame. Yep. Um, and I've been doing it up for the past two years. And I got a, a 750 Bonneville. All ah, right. But this is in such beautiful condition. Wow. Now, what's the rear brake there? That, that, that's a, a Triton conical hub. Yeah. And the front brake. Which is a four camper. Oh yeah. And it's both sides. That is beautiful. What's this then? And that is a Yamaha racing brake from the 1970s. My God, what a beauty. I, I think that brake's 2,000 quid on its own. So you've got a lovely polished um, tank. Yeah, tank, um, tank yeah. 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 And what are the carburetors? One car and a half? Or? They're, they're um, two inch. Right. 50 mil, they are 50 mil yeah. Japanese carburetors. Oh, are they? Yeah. So you're not a purist then? No. Which is good. Not, not on the Triton. And in a way, that's the whole essence yeah. of a cafe race that you individualise it. it. That's it, you individualise yeah. it a whole lot. Yes, that is gorgeous. And you and have you won any shows with it? or? No, I haven't brought this one to a show before. No. Do you find these vibrate like mad or nope, they're no, okay? No, they're okay, yeah. Right. Oh, beautiful. There isn't a lot of vibration on it at all. And it's got such a distinctive purr. Are you starting it up at all or not? I will start it if you do. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I bet it's a full-time job just spit and polishing it. Uh, it, don't, it don't get dirty in the garage. <laughs> so you don't obviously don't lacquer no. the aluminium. No, no, so no. it will, uh, what's the word, tarnish? Tarnish, tarn, tarn, uh, yeah, yeah. Tarnish, yeah. Although it's in the garage room, so I've got it on a nice day. Yeah. Don't go out in the rain. Fantastic. Days go back to the early 60s. I rode a James one in the winter of 62. You're too young to remember you. Yeah, the real. Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, a very great thank you for inviting us here today. The work you've done for Bath and uh, Peter Edwards and the 50 people of Russian from the Bath Motor Club who's uh, invited us to exhibit this machine on the stand. The make of it is a Rappo, it's a Rappo Belga. Uh, only seven of these were ever made. Uh, <laughs> they are super rare, uh, with rear engines on them, uh, very, very clear trip suspension, ultra light body, you can see it's just shaped over the, uh, over the chassis. The chassis is more or less a, a, a red chassis. Uh, with, a, with a very, very light body uh, put on top of it. Uh, got the guy on there. Uh, and the basic uh, of the basic of the racing car uh, with uh, more or less 
uh, comfort for the road, but only more or less, because uh, uh, it really is uh, a very, very quick car. The nice short chassis on it, turns left and right quickly, uh, fairly aerodynamic, and a very, very rare piece of paper history there. Take you with me back for one thing for sure. Now you can't take you with me back for one thing for sure. Now there's nothing wrong with you. I could shuffle through the world, kill.